I don't want you to be sad. You deserve. Well, you deserve everything. Today, we're going to be talking about Prime Video's new series, Wilderness, and the relationship between Liv and Ash. So let's get right into it. Wilderness is a murder mystery slash thriller. It stars Jenna Coleman, Oliver Jackson Cohen, Ashley Benson, Morgana Van Peebles, and Eric Balfour. So basically, after moving from London to New York, Liv finds out her husband has been cheating on her when she goes through his phone and finds this text message from his co-worker saying, I can't stop thinking about you inside me. He was cheating on her with Kara, Ashley Benson's character. After Liv finds this out, she confides in Ash, who is her neighbor and friend. Liv seemed to always confide in her about him. They would complain about him. They would talk about life and regrets. And Ash would always say to her, he doesn't deserve you. We see Ash and Liv hanging out a lot and becoming closer. And even though we don't get to see a lot of them in this six episode series, as a matter of fact, I don't think a scene between them even lasted five whole straight minutes. So don't get your hopes up. And these episodes lasted an hour, literally 56, 57 minutes. I was like, dang, when this going off? And I can't even lie to y'all. I had to fast forward sometimes. But this scene right here was the best scene out of the few that we had of them. But with this whole Liv and Ash thing, sometimes we did get two, maybe three, I can't remember, scenes with them in an episode. But again, they were very short scenes. Liv's husband tried to make up for his cheating by taking her on a road trip she always wanted to go on. But while on the trip, Liv was plotting to unalive him. She was about to push him off a cliff until someone walked up. During the trip, Kara and her boyfriend Garth showed up and it wasn't a coincidence. Long story short, Liv knew Kara was the one her husband was cheating on her with because she saw a video of them having sex, but she was playing it off. And as a matter of fact, everyone on the trip knew what was going on except her boyfriend Garth. So Carr was smiling all up in Liv's face, knowing that she's sleeping with her husband. Liv knew Carr was being fake, smiling all up in her face. Will was over there thinking he's a player because he's sleeping with both of these women. He thinks that both of them don't know about each other. But Carr, the one that he's cheating with, knows about Liv. It's just a mess. But Liv tried to unalive Will again. She thought it was him standing at the end of a cliff again because of the red windbreaker the person was wearing because the jacket that the person was wearing was his jacket but it wasn't will standing at the end of the cliff it was Kara. Liv pushed Kara off the cliff unaliving her she never should have been wearing that man's jacket the police end up arresting Kara's boyfriend garth thinking it was him who pushed Kara off the cliff after arresting him questioning him and holding him for a while they finally let him go and when they do he went over will and Liv's house and tried to unalive them after finding out about the affair between Kara and will that they just told him about when he walked in the house we found out garth asked Kara to marry him the night that she died but she told him no she wanted to be with will he almost choked out Liv but she was able to hit him over the head with something, unaliving him too. So now she got two bodies on her. She done unalived two people at this point. Liv was trying to keep her distance from Ash because she didn't want to bring her down with her. She was avoiding her and kind of being mean to her at times, but she was just trying to protect her. Liv wanted a divorce from Will. She even told him that she was with Ash, insinuating that she wanted to be with her. But Will tells her they're not getting a divorce and if she tries to divorce him, then he'll go and tell the police that she didn't kill Garth in self-defense. She did it on purpose. He was trying to keep her back and not let her go. When he's been out there cheating on her this whole time, he wasn't just cheating on her with Kara. He was cheating on her with this other co-worker too. But she didn't let him know she knew this at first. After Liv finds out about this second affair, she gives the police the tape of Will and Kara having sex. The same tape that she previously saw. And when she gave the police this tape, 
She was in there crying, acting like this was the first time that she saw this tape ever, but this was a part of her plan. Because the police thought that Will had something to hide because he never mentioned this affair with Kara, and that's why he was arrested for murdering Kara. He figures this out months later. She admits it to him, but it's nothing he can do. He's in jail while she's out here free, and I'm all for it. He asked her, why kill her? And she said, because I thought she was you. The only person who knew about her murdering Kara was Liv's mother and Liv's mother was not about to tell anybody. Liv was also saying she was pregnant with Will's baby, but that's unclear like a lot of things were in this series. And that's pretty much it. Between all of what was happening, like I said before, Liv and Ash would meet up, vent about things, and hook up. Their scenes were pretty quick though. The status of their relationship is unclear. It left off odd. And I have to admit, one of the main reasons why I kept watching in the first place is because of Ash. I was trying to see more of her and more of this queer storyline that was barely there. Honestly, if you don't want to waste literally six hours of your life, all you need is this video. I pretty much told you the whole series. It wasn't bad, but at the same time, it wasn't good. There was a lot of empty plot holes that didn't make too much sense to me. And they had a whole six hours. But let me know what you think. Have you watched it? Do you plan on checking it out? Let me know in the comments so we can talk about it. And if you haven't already and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.